Some car owners in Murfreesboro were not happy to find out their property was spray painted and in some cases burned to the ground. And it is not what you would expect to happen to your car after it's been towed. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes is live at the Robinson Towing and Repair Shop on Main Street. Jennifer, police, they say they were there within minutes after all of this happened. Jessica, they were actually the ones who spotted one of the cars that was on fire. They were across the street from West Main Street getting gas at that gas station right there. When they saw the car on fire and then when they made it into this lot, they realized the aftermath that these criminals had left behind. They were all brought here for parking on the wrong spot. Now they're part of a criminal investigation. I have no idea who could have done it or why they would have done it. Jeremy Robinson says he got a call Monday morning from Murfreesboro police about a car fire on his lot. When I come down here and found this, oh, it was way more than what I thought it was. Turns out there was more than one car on fire, and just about every other car on the lot had been vandalized. Spray painted. One, two, three, four, five, six. They spray painted eight cars all together. Whoever is responsible for this cut a hole in the wire fence and then walked through the lot, leaving behind symbols and letters. If you can still see the paint where they took that knife and went down the doors on it, they spray painted it right there. They knocked the glass out of this car. Of course, they spray painted the windshield. At this time, it does not appear to be a hate crime because of the variety of graffiti that was left. Kim Lawson with the Murfreesboro Fire Department says detectives have some good leads and the evidence collected at the scene will help with their investigation. They did find a gas can and a note and, and several other items that they've actually collected. In the meantime, Jeremy Robinson is responsible for fixing every one of these cars. He says there's really nothing he could have done to prevent this, but he's doing what he can to keep it from happening again. I'm going to have to hire somebody to stay here at nighttime. Just somebody to just come in here at night and just sit with the cars. And uh, this lot actually does have a security guard. This is Rocky right here. He's usually here taking care of the, the vehicles on the lot, but yesterday he was on vacation. The uh, owners tell me that they were in the process of installing a new security system, and that was supposed to take place this week. Reporting live in Murfreesboro, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD.